Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 7B of our series of session on interest calculation feature. So in this session, today we will see a very interesting feature where you can set up your interest configuration the way you wanted. So let us take two examples. Let us say that you want to provide a grace period for charging interest beyond the credit days. So how do we handle that? We will see that in this session today. And the second is that let us say that after a particular period of overdue days, you want to charge a penal interest. So how do we handle this? We will also see that in the product. Let us go to tally and then explore these two requirement of some businesses and see how tally is going to address this requirement. Let's go to tally. As I mentioned, let us take this example of a customer where you are raising an invoice and you are providing some credit period. You would want to configure interest and see what is the loss of return on investment. You would also want to provide some grace period. So which means you are not going to calculate interest from the day it falls due, but then you can specify in tally as to saying that give a grace period of three days or five days and after that still the amount is outstanding charge interest okay so that is the scenario that we are going to see now first we will go and then set the interest calculation for the customer ledger this is the customer ledger where we want to set up the interest calculation with the grace period come into interest configuration and we have seen this so now I had mentioned in the last session that when you say always, it is just going to ask you whether it is effective date or due date of invoice. Right? So these two examples we saw in the last session. Okay? So now let's come back and then say you want to provide some grace period. So the configuration that you are going to do is you are going to say past due date, but then don't charge interest immediately after the due date is over allow five days of grace period and then you calculate interest after five days post the expiry of the credit period right so that is the configuration that you are doing now in this case what you have to do is you are going to select date of applicability so which means it has to apply that grace period of five days so enter grace of applicability then normal rounding of limit is one Okay, and then press Ctrl A. There is an invoice that has already been raised. So let us quickly go and have a look at the invoice. Notice the voucher date. The voucher date is 1st of January. And then let us quickly go to the bill wise information and let us see the bill wise detail also. So here we are giving 10 days credit. So which means the bill was raised on 1st of January, 10 days credit. So it is going to fall due on 11th of January. In case by 11th of January, if this customer is not making the payment, then Tally is going to calculate interest starting from 12th of January. So with this configuration, let us quickly go and see the interest report. So you will notice here that the invoice date is 1st of January and 10 days credit is what we had provided, which means from the 11th day onwards, interest needs to be calculated. But we had configured for this party saying that allow extra five days of grace period even after five days if this amount is not paid or if it is still outstanding then you charge interest so interest needs to be charged from 12th of january five days grace period so tally is now considering that five days grace period and it is now calculating interest starting from 17th of january till the current date for 74 days, this is the amount that it is calculated interest. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the calculation based on the grace period that we have specified, taking into consideration the invoice date, the credit period and the grace period. Let us now take the second use case. That is, you have now given five days of grace period for this customer and Let's say as it is, if you see here, the interest is 
charged for 74 days that means till the current date that is till the 31st of march the amount is still being pending so now you want to charge penal interest that is you are going to say that yes five days i am giving you grace period and after that only interest is going to be levied but then you are going to say that i am going to allow you extra 30 days for you to clear this bill in case if the bill is still pending even after 30 days then you would want to levy a nominal penal interest so how do we handle this scenario that is what we are going to see now let us go to the party master interest configuration so we have configured this and now we understand this configuration right so now the requirement is that you want to charge additional penal interest after certain days if the amount is still pending so now let's say you want to charge two percent penal interest for calendar year okay on on obviously on the debit balance past due date and now you have already given five days grace period so what you are saying that if the bill is pending beyond 30 days then you apply this additional two percent penal interest so that is what this configuration is about enter and this is again going to be date of applicability enter rounding off normal rounding off limit is up to one rupee so this way you can have multiple configuration for interest so let us just do this one additional thing and then see the result you will notice that now additional two percent penal interest is levied for 49 days okay, where the amount is 1342 so how this calculation happens let us understand let me explain with this calculation below we had set up the interest calculation for penal interest so we know the bill date was 1st of january and the due date was 11th of january which is 10 days credit we had given now interest to be calculated past due date was from 12th of january but then we had provided a grace period of five days so that is how tally is calculated in the first line if you see it is calculating interest from 17th of january till the current date which is 74 days at the 12 percent now we had configured that you would want to levy a penal interest at the rate of two percent per annum additionally from the 30th day so which means now the penal interest calculation for 30 days will start from 11th of february which is the due date penal interest calculation will start after 30 days that is from 11th of february so how does this 11th of february gets calculated if you see 11th of january is when the amount is due now for penal interest it is not going to consider the five day grace period so since you have said 30 days so from 12th of january till 31st of january you have 19 days and the balance 11 days falls on 11th of february so it is considering 11th of february as the starting date for penal interest calculation and as on the current date it is calculated at the rate of two percent for 49 days the interest amount of 1342 i hope this session would have given you a better understanding of how you can handle these two kind of exceptions so this exception that we saw is in the master so if you remember in one of our previous session we also had enabled the option of modify interest calculation or modify interest parameter during the voucher entry so in the next session we will also see very interesting aspect related to the grace period and penal interest with the flexibility that you would really really want to understand this feature so that in case if you want to use this mechanism you can always use this so thank you very much once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much